Okay, go ahead. Up to the side. Go and grab it up. That's good. Now, go ahead. Start to slide. We got a problem. Okay, all right, we're, you know, we're experimenting, talking through the guys here and talking about maybe some flat edges. I know I've tried this with screwdrivers before and not had a lot of luck. Upon uh, talking to each other, we said, well, what if we had something a little flatter maybe where we could hold a couple of edges here? So what we're going to do here is um, somebody grab the spring. Try not to block the video there. Okay, shove that in. Okay. Real quickly before we bolt it down, let's just leave the straight edges in there and try to slide. I think we might have a winner here. I'm going to try and put... Screws in. Okay. Notice how I just kiss it. Yeah. You guys have done this so many times here. Okay. Is that a winner? I See. think. I think so. Not 100 sure here, but we're gonna. Everybody agrees it didn't work before, right? Mm -hmm. Now they're all going uh, different levels. You yeah. said we're a little concerned about that. That could be our carb sink being that far off too. I don't know if it's blowing on the other side of the throttle plate. You really need to think that through. We just gotta figure out what that looks like. But what I'm gonna do here is try and hold steady. That doesn't look too bad. Actually, this one seems to be working better now, doesn't yeah. it? And the other thing is, is on the bench here, this is so dry. We don't have wet fuel in here. It's not <coughs> lubricated. It's been cleaned or, or anything else. So I think what we're going to do is pull the other caps off, use this, uh, this new idea. Guys, this is the first time I've done this. So this is an awesome idea that we've come up with together. I love it. And where'd my other, my other one go? Underneath. Got under, uh, underneath there. So we're going to put this on the bike and try it. But here's the, here's the ultimate reality. Let's do a little check for review. On a shrunk slide or one that's uh, uh, tightened up a little bit on us, we uh, need to hold the diaphragm up, roll the, the diaphragm down, and hold it in that position with our best attempt to be able to put it on. Is that right? Mm -hmm. The other thing that we need to do is in this case where it's a save the day, you guys saw where I was doing the little bit of peekaboo where I was sliding it down, and when I slid it over, what I was doing was verifying just that little lip or that little rubber edge was in its groove. As I slid the cover over, if the, if I wasn't in that groove, what the slide want to do? It wanted to roll in. So you got to hold some tension. There's a couple tricks there. Now ultimately, you got to remember this, especially our YouTube guys uh, and gals out there watching, is that you're probably saying to yourself, well, why wouldn't you just replace it? I mean, that's the ultimate thing to do. That's the OEM way to, to go about this. I understand that. But if I'm working on a 1980 GS1100, and it needs four slides at the tune of $125 a piece, plus four jet kits, plus tires, plus brakes, plus everything else. It's uncommon that it's necessarily such a, such a performance issue that somebody's going to say, oh, you have to replace this. This isn't anything to do with safety or anything else. I mean, if the slide is able to seal, okay, it is going to have a pressure difference above and below. Now, if that rubber is not as flexible and pliable, is that going to change how fast that slide moves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This will not be able to perform as well as a perfectly good, flexible slide, but some people will choose to, be, to sacrifice that for the fact that steady throttle, steady throttle. If I'm going down the highway and I have a pressure difference above and below, just because that slide takes longer to get there, once it stabilizes, I'm still going to do 60 mile an hour and go down the road. Does that make sense? Okay, so there's our little trick for the day. We're going to uh, try the rest of these. Awesome.